Hey, Scruffy. I'm gonna open the door. How you doing? So you hungry again? Yeah, no more uh, unlimited kibble, huh? Yeah. No, you don't like that, but I don't think it's a good idea that you eat unlimited kibble. So I have a fresh can of meaty pate with real ocean whitefish and uh, kibble. So I bet you like this one. It's not as bad as the smelly fish, but it does smell. You got a branch stuck to your back there. <clears throat> Gonna have to try to brush that off. So you don't usually let me uh, brush your backside though, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that off of you. Okay, well, I'm going to see if I remember to try to discreetly uh, remove that branch. So, let's see. Yeah, the weather, I think, is about the same as yesterday. So, yesterday and today have a slight cooling trend. So, it's, it's still warm, hot, but... Uh, it's a very nice, manageable, warm hot. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it looks like yeah, tomorrow we're going to be starting a. Let's. We're heading into a heat wave. Um, I'm not exactly sure when exactly the heat wave is officially begun. Basically, it's it's going to gradually. Well, it's going to spike up in temperature tomorrow, but then it's still going to gradually spike up even more over the next at least five days, if not longer. So towards the end of the forecast, yeah, we get in the triple digits. <clears throat> Although tomorrow it looks like, yeah, we're... It's still going to be pretty hot, so even if we don't hit triple digits. So the, the gradual ramp up is... It's all going to be miserable. So I'm not looking forward to that. <clears throat> so I am planning to go for a long run tonight after I feed Scruffy. Okay. Because I think, yeah, it's going to be the last long run I can do. That's not going to be miserably hot. I'm actually not sure if I'm feeling up to it tonight, but I'm going to have to try because I'm not going to get a better chance in the near, in the near future, at least. Yeah, grab the glove. So yeah, I can't seem to get to Scruffy's backside. Yeah, I see there's a little... Okay, I'm going to try here. I don't think I got it off, though. Yeah, there's a little twig stuck to his butt. <clears throat> so, yeah, he usually keeps his behind uh, protected from me. He'll show it to me sometimes, but, uh, yeah, I'm... Not, uh, but it's usually when he's walking away or something. So let's see. Well, last night, uh, yeah, I went for my bike ride, and uh, yeah, it was okay. So yeah, it was as I said, a little bit on the cooler side. So. Since I've been going kind of late and uh, it's been a little cooler, 
right before sunset. The temperature is actually really nice. Unfortunately, yeah, the I'm, I think I'm, yeah, the sun's setting a lot earlier now, and I, I, was, I guess I was caught off guard at how quickly uh, we're losing daylight in the late hours. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I thought I had another good 20 minutes or so of uh, writing I could do. And uh, so at the end of, or I was approaching, so I did my part of my extended route. And I was going to finish it with uh, one last partial ride up the uh, exposed mountainside. And that's usually a you know, 10, 15 minute extra ride. <clears throat> and um, as I was approaching the, the hill climb, I saw the park ranger drive by um, announcing on the loudspeaker that the park is closing. And so I thought the park closes I think it was like 30 minutes after sunset, and it wasn't quite sunset yet, but I think, yeah, they're starting to close earlier, and then I've never seen them actually do the loudspeaker bullhorn thing before and until a couple weeks ago, so that might be new, but they were kicking us all out, so they were trying to get us all out. So I had to cut my route short and didn't go up that last uh, thing. But yeah, the truth is, by the time I got back, it was uh, right at sunset, and uh, yeah, I was actually starting to have trouble seeing in the dark. Um, so <clears throat> I'm sorry. I think I actually may need to leave either earlier. Actually, no. I think I th I'm, no matter what, I think I'm gonna have to start leaving earlier. <laughs> Um, so then the question is, uh, do I start leaving so early that I feed Scruffy after I come back? Which means he's going to have to wait probably an extra hour for me to, hour, hour and a half for me to feed him. Because I've been, I've shifted everything, so I've been feeding him earlier. Last year I was feeding him later, so I'd always go out. Actually, the last two years, actually. The last two years I was feeding him after I got back. So the first year, it was, yeah, I started at the end of the summer. We're actually coming up on two, almost two years now. I think like in another week or something will be our two-year anniversary, roughly. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so back then I didn't care. I didn't, I didn't concern myself too much with uh, feeding them on a schedule. I just feed them you know, whenever I got back. Uh, but last year, I was trying to feed him a little more consistently. Uh, last year, the temperature wasn't as bad, I think. So the year before was really bad. Last year was much better. This year is it's not as bad as two years ago, but yeah, it's... Yeah, we've had uh, some... We've had a couple pretty hot days, and yeah, I've noticed, yeah, it's... It's just hot enough that, yeah, I, I really want to wait closer to sunset. So before, last year I was able to wait till late afternoon and it wasn't great, but it was just enough to be tolerable. But yeah, this this year feels like it's, it's just too it's still too hot in the afternoon. But yeah, maybe uh, maybe it was next month uh, that will change. I don't know. Not quite by ear, but yeah, this week is going to be bad. So. Um, I'm going to be doing, I'm, I'm not going to be changing my schedule <laughs> this week because, yeah, the heat's going to be really bad. I might not even be able to go out because the heat's going to get so bad this week. So, 
still it's not nearly as bad as two years ago. Okay, Scruffy, I'm gonna feed you now. a little bit. He has a dangling piece of fur in his butt there. It's probably not helping. I think he needs to shed there. So yeah, two years ago, yeah, we had a lot of fires in the region so the air quality turned really bad and yeah it was really hot so two years ago I was constantly monitoring the air quality because it was unsafe to come out in a lot of days so so far this year we haven't really had that I'm actually worried in the next month or two we're gonna get all the wildfires again So let's see, I came out at lunch again today. Scruffy was in the, oh yeah, same place he was yesterday, so he was near the railing. And yeah, he looked tired and disinterested. So when I came back in, yeah, he was not, uh, he didn't come to the water, so. I didn't see him this morning. Oh, and then last night when I went in, I did check the container. As far as I can tell, it was closed, but Scruffy was sitting next to it. I think he was hoping just to maybe magically open or something, but... Yeah, sorry. No more unlimited kibble. I still don't know how that thing got open. Yeah, my, my theory is a raccoon figured out how to unlatch the lid. That's gotta be a really smart raccoon. Because there's a latch on each side, so you have to unlatch both sides and then take off the lid. Yeah, that or yeah, maybe some intruder came into the backyard and was snooping around, which is actually possible. So it seems kind of strange that they would, uh, open the kibble container. Um, there's a bunch of other junk around the yard they could have taken. None of it's particularly valuable, but I don't know what they're looking for. But there was some stuff they could have taken. Actually, that sun oven's actually kind of valuable. It doesn't look like much, but yeah, it's pretty expensive. It's pretty good quality, though, so I can... I think I can reasonably expect it will last a lifetime, basically. If not a lifetime, yeah, I think I think I've heard, you know, at least fifteen years or something like that. Probably should have done more cooking with it this summer. I still can. Um, yeah. Actually with the heat wave coming, yeah, maybe I should cook some chicken or something. I was thinking of actually doing a pot roast. I have a little bit of uh, chuck roast still frozen. And uh, now that I finally got, so one of the uh, ingredients I need is cream of mushroom soup for the broth. And uh, I finally got that, so maybe I can uh, cook it. 
I went to eat some potatoes though, and yeah, unfortunately uh, I mentioned the potatoes all rotted, so. Don't have any potatoes. Reading about the energy crisis in Europe as it continues to unfold. So, see, uh, reading that yeah, uh, energy prices such as electricity have been shooting up like something like almost 50% in a matter of like a week or a couple weeks or something. Um, it's pretty scary. my electricity shoots up like that, I'll probably be using the sun oven a lot more. I got it because yeah, I was worried actually the opposite problem, we'd have a uh, rolling blackouts or just power grid down. But yeah, can, since it doesn't require any electricity to cook, it's you know, fairly economical. I'm gonna move the balls. I think Scruffy did an okay job cleaning the bowl today. Huh. There's a little bit of pat taste smear left. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Wondering if maybe Scruffy is still eating something. Still getting free food somewhere. Yeah, so I think I, I've heard claims uh, about the sun oven. I forgot how many days. If you use it like a certain number of days, it ends up paying for itself. Um, well, short of that. But, uh,. I used it more consistently, I'd probably uh, pay it off pretty quickly. So I think if I had used it like uh, I think a couple couple times a week for a year, I think it pays for itself or something like that. Usually, usually most people you know, don't do uh, aren't able to do that because the winters they don't get enough sunlight. So if you remove winter from it, taking a couple years, two to four years I guess, or two to, to three, three, yeah, two to four years I guess, depending on how much sunlight you get. Okay, folks, I think Scruffy's done, so I'm going to go in. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.